Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. We are checking out another custom character today, back-to-back -back characters this time around, and this is me. I guess it's kind of Mr. Me's little brother, so to say. This guy's all to do with throwing rocks. It's a pretty interesting idea. We also have this little chest here as well, which he's kind of like Mr. Me's chest, I guess. It's kind of interesting. We get Scapula here, which is actually not a bad item for starting with two soul hearts. I don't know if this guy can get red hearts, but hopefully I can. But you can see, I can throw rocks and then the rocks will sort of do a little pepper shot behind the enemy I hit and hit other enemies, which can lead to some good stuff. Um, if you have a baby familiar, when you die, remove him and revive yourself. Um, sacrificial familiars will flash periodically. Okay, pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I don't know if Mr. Meal say, uh, I, I like, box will save us here, because it's an eight. Oh, actually, no, it is an item, actually. It's not built into our character, technically, so I should be able to lose it. Hopefully, it'll give me some drops before that time comes. That and Scapula should keep me nice and alive. Mr. Boom's also pretty good here. I like that. I like that quite a bit. But yeah, having the ability just to, like, destroy all rocks is, like, really nice. We also fire rocks as well. And it's kind of got, like, a thrown sound effect when we do that, which is kind of nice. But they do not destroy rocks themselves, so it's not like we have terror, which makes sense. we got a strength card here. Um, I guess we can just pop that. Oh, wait. Is, did, I, did I make a mistake there? I think I think I, th I think I thought it said it lasts for 60 seconds. I think it lasts for 60 seconds if I hit an enemy with it. I think that was a, a bit of a silly mistake there, but hey ho, it's fine. But yeah, we can get all of these open. No spiders thus far. Kind of surprised that no spiders there. All right, grab one of those. It's good that we can bring them into like rooms with us. We can like take a rock from one to the other, but they seem pretty strong. It definitely seems like you're incentivized to utilize this when possible because your tears aren't great. I am a little worried about boss rooms, though, um, because... Oh, copper bomb, how dare you. Um, because in boss rooms, obviously, we're going to not always have rocks. It's not a guarantee that we won't, but it's not always going to be the case. You need to back off your little flashing weirdo. I don't know why you're flashing, but... Boom. <laughs> I absolutely love having that. And the bell clapper here, not bad, not bad. Okay. Let us go and just check this other room over here. But I kind of like the idea of this character. The developer of this um, of this mod actually uh, did reach out to me on my Discord and mentioned the mod while it was in development. Ooh, that was a nice little crawl space there. Um, so I, I kind of heard about this for a little while. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow. I actually managed to... Uh, do that, that dude. That's a lot and a lot of damage there. Okay, now I do I do believe that our thrown rocks ad adopt all of our tier effects and scale with our damage, so we should be able to um, see the the little pepper shot rocks that come out from behind a thrown one, doing some pretty good damage. Tattered page there. Let's give it a go. We get cancer. Not bad. Not bad. There's some spiders finally. Okay. Do we have an inkling on where secret room might be? I think we do. I think we do. Lovely stuff. And we get evil charm as well. Rather nice. Rather nice. Now, do I want to play this out? I never really know if these are any good. Like, they don't always seem that worthwhile. So this is just going to take me to here, which is kind of silly. <laughs> That's a sun card. Do you know what? I'll pop you for a sun card. Sun card for the next floor is actually reasonably useful. Didn't quite get enough money to uh, check out the shop, unfortunately. I will go in and just see if there's anything worthwhile. Um, roll of film. Oh, there you go. Uh, roll of film. Uh, the on damage effects of polar negative trigger at three hearts or below. Um, half heart damage is now taken at three hearts or below. Pretty good. It's 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 decent. It's decent. We also got a trinket out of it. I do not mind that. Oh, no. Just... I meant to use my mum's bracelet and popped my sun card. Oh, that was so silly. Oh, mistakes, mistakes. Anyways, as for um, our question of the day today, what's a synergy that you... Uh, oh, did that character just come out of a the chest there? That's a nice little detail. Um, what's What, like, synergy in Isaac are you always looking for and hoping that shows up? We'll take that onion, why not? Can I pick up this? Oh, I did it again! Oh, my God! I really, really despise the way that that mechanic works in Isaac. I absolutely hate it. Also, do, have my rocks gained piercing now? That's pretty pretty good. Um, I despise the way that that works where it, um, when you pick up a card, 
and you've got a pocket item, it puts the card first. It's like, no, I never want the card first. Ever. Ooh, this is very, very good for us. Because we have basically unlimited bombs with our active item, or somewhat unlimited. Yeah, I think they do pierce now. That's very nice. So we've already got one pretty interesting ability on top of our um, on top of our thrown rocks here. This is what I was saying about it synergizing and potentially being pretty cool. I'll take the other one into the next room. Oh my goodness. We do have cancer right now as well. Kind of forgot about that. That's a lot of red hearts that I do not need. Thank you, game. Thank you for being so generous. I'm just gonna do a, a nuke in the middle there. Ooh, this is. I am liking. This character feels quite strong so far. I'm liking it. But there's like. A, it, it's strong, but there's a bit of like. Method to the madness. Like, you can't just go in crazy. What the hell exploded then? <laughs> you can't just go in like crazy. Like, you have to still be a bit careful. Do you know what would be amazing with this? Herming. Herming would be absolutely fantastic with this. Because you'd, you'd fire those shots and it'd just herm onto everyone. Oh, so those explode. Weird. Weird. 10% uh, chance um, to shoot a bleeding tier. That's pretty good, but I think I'm going to stick with... Um, I think I'm going to stick with my current trinket, to be honest. Right. Into the next room. Oh, I, I'm really liking having piercing on it already. Piercing is pretty damn good. Dude, stop with the spiders. It's too many of the spiders. Where's my quarter at? No fading penny, how dare you? Okay, we got some money. Not a lot, we got some. But yeah, I am a little worried about certain boss rooms, especially the late game bosses. I think uh, they're going to be particularly sort of neutered by this guy. Um, I don't know if there's like a guarantee of rocks spawning in the boss rooms. In fact, do you know what? N now that I'm taking a look at this room, I'm pretty sure these rocks aren't normally in here. And they're specifically spawned in boss rooms. That's, that's good. It's good that that's, that that's been addressed. Um, oh, we, do, we, can, we can have red hearts. I wasn't expecting that. Um, let's take a little look what we got going on in here. Not particularly the best, um, of devil deals. I'll take this just because, why not? Um, and we'll go down to the next floor. But yeah, so I, I, I am seeing that boss rooms seem to have some rocks spawned in them for you, which is really, really nice. Um, and we get black hole bombs. Plus one gigabomb. Bombs get a black hole effect, pulls an enemies towards them, destroys nearby rocks. That seems very strong. Um, I like the idea. Plus one gigabomb as well is kind of funny. It's kind of a meme. Ooh, wrapped candy. Damage and then speed every 15 seconds. We actually got this in a previous episode, but now we've got it early enough for it to be pretty useful. Uh, before we got it quite late on. Uh, turns troll bombs into red throwable bombs. That's kind of interesting, but again, not super useful. Got to be careful with the mushrooms. The mushrooms will work all the same, but unfortunately they will potentially damage us. Hey, our little box gave us something nice there. As long as we throw them a decent distance away from us, the poison clouds shouldn't be too bad for us. Um, and in here, we've got golden keys right now. Ooh, another one. Another um, battle fantasy. Essential oil, tears up and look up. Not a bad item at all. Oh, dude, the explosion radius on these is crazy. Calm it, game. Calm it. I really like the fact that the, uh, the sound effects for using your... Uh, Using your tears is like a throwing effect. So, like, it's literally like you're throwing stones. That's nice. Right. Take care of that guy. And that guy. Okay, luckily... Oh, dude! No way! I didn't expect that. Oh, sack altar. You, t you tempt me with a good time. You tempt me with a good time. I'm going to see if I get any more familiars before I use that. But I probably will use it on my box, just because Devil Deal item's more interesting. Even though this is on theme for this guy, having a, a little chest here. But the fact that our active takes on our uh, black hole bombs means that I should be using it in combat a lot more often. A lot, lot more often. Yeah, look, look how crazy powerful that is. That's absolutely absurd how strong that's going to be. But yeah, it's kind of it's kind of how like if you have dirty mind and an extra rocks will spawn, um, because uh, extra poops will spawn because you have dirty mind in a way. But luckily the character isn't completely inept without the ability to throw rocks. We are still able to deal half decent damage. 
So these explode. Basically, they're just like respritered TNT barrels. Ooh, we've already taken a devil deal, unfortunately. Filigree would be nice, but yeah, we've already taken a devil deal. Do you know what? I'll take it just in case. It's unlikely it'll make any difference to the run, but I just can't in good conscience leave it there. Uh, excuse me. There's another boy for you to jump on. Go jump on him. Okay. Get out of here. Our tears are so huge right now as well. Ooh, okay. There you go. There, there's there's a trinket we want. There's a trinket we want. Excuse me. Don't bop me. Can I pick up the bouncy mushrooms? Oh, dude. The fart radius is, uh, is quite large. It's quite large. How are you still alive? Right. Give me those hearts back, baby. Give me those hearts back. Right, I'll check out my shop because I've got infinite keys this floor. Ooh, I'd actually really like that. Gigabomb, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, what? I sacrificed a gigabomb for nothing. I just got a really weird sensation there. So, I've just, like, cleaned up the house a little bit this morning. Um... Ooh, very, very nice. Cleaned up the house a little bit this morning. And then, like, I, I had a little bit, like, I had a little bit to eat, but I, for, I, I, I like, kind of forgot I did. I, I just sort of forgot what I'd eaten. And I just, like, had, like, while I was talking then, a random, really, really intense taste of pepper, like peppercorns. Um, and I was like, what the, where the fuck did that come from? Then I realized I'd eaten some pasta that I absolutely chock-a-block loaded with pepper because... If you're not putting a lot of pepper on your pasta, is there really any point in eating the pasta? Pepper's amazing. I, uh, salt. People that don't season their food like adequately with salt and pepper need to be jailed. Like the amount of times, as, uh, like when I'm young, when I was younger, or even now, sometimes I'll go to like a friend's house and they'll they'll cook and they'll just like not season anything appropriately. It's just it's just saddening. The only downside. To our, our, um, oh damn, I'm taking some damage. The only downside to our black hole bombs is we're in a situation where, oh that's kind of nice. Oh my god. We're in a situation where we destroy rocks with our black holes, but we kind of need the rocks. Uh, what we got going on here. Allows the player to see enemy health. Decent, um, void egg. Not really that good. What's this do? One black heart, one on half a heart or less, 10% chance to sort a black heart on room clear. Um, it's a really kind of bad item, that, isn't it? Okay, I'm not going to take them. I am going to look for one extra penny, though, because I think that having um, that having the ability to hold two charges on my active is is pretty goddamn useful. I'm going to try and find a, find a decent way to get that money. I think it's going to be bombing this machine over here. Seems like the most likely solution. What's, what's going on? Why can't I reach this machine? Oh, I see. There was a block there. Right. Bomb you. What? I didn't reward me with a penny. How dare you? Right. Secret room is under the way. We can do it. I've not really sort of paid attention to where secret room could be. Could be here. We've got plenty of bombs to work with here, so... Hey, there you go. That's what we're looking for, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh! There's a ghosty in here. Wasn't expecting that. Right, okay. Let's go back to our shop real quick. Oh, what the hell? What the hell kind of heart is that? I've literally never seen that heart in my life. Where did that come from? That wasn't in there before, was it? Is that going to give me, like, extra charges or something? It was, like, zappy. All right, give me the battery. i able to hold double charge. I mean, someone's cleaning our windows at the minute, and it's scaring me. <laughs> Which <laughs> sounds a little bit silly, but um, what I mean by that is... Like, we're on the second floor, and so I don't get warned, and a massive goddamn pole just comes and starts sweeping at my window loudly <laughs> without any previous knowledge as to that was going to happen. It's kind of shit me up a little bit. I don't just generally get scared by window cleaning. That's not... <laughs> it's not something I experience. Although I imagine there's many people that do. A hey, crystal key, giving us what we need, baby. Well, this is kind of a kind of a room. 
Luckily, we have piercing to get past some of these guys. We actually have a decent decent setup for like when we don't have rocks available. So, um, I need to check. Ooh, I guess I'll just bomb you for now. Beautiful. I need to check if I'm getting extra charges from this heart because it does have a little charge symbol on it. Hey, what's with these rooms with no rocks? Oh, maybe that could be the um, the the what's going on here. That battery just spawned. Oh, dude. Black Hole with Mr. Boom is an insane combo. Oh, what the hell heart is this? What's going on here? Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to guess one second. I'm going to guess that this Mr. Me mod has added some extra hearts or just somehow I haven't seen them. I'm going to check on that. Yeah, so both of these hearts are from this mod. Uh, this mod does have um, a bunch of extra items in it too. I think it's like 20 items it has. Um, but yeah, so... I did I did get an additional charge there, I think. Or was that just because I've got a uh, battery? That might be because I've got a battery. But I don't know what the other heart does. It's called like a lament, lament heart, lament heart, something like that. I saw in the files. Get boomed. We got another one of these hearts. Wow, okay. They're throwing themselves at us. So I'm going to guess it's a chance for batteries to spawn on room clear, is what it's doing. Either that or it's increasing the amount of charges I'm getting, but I can't quite tell at the minute because I'm stupid. Did you not die to that? Wow. Oh, what what's going on with this enemy? Um, Bugged enemy. Okay. We're going to have to bomb through this room because that enemy is bugged. Stay away from me, mouth boy. Oh, we got Sir Junkin, baby. Hell yes. Sir Junkin. Oh, I forgot about the, um, I forgot about the sack, uh, I can't pick this up, that's sad. I forgot about the, um, the sacrifice altar on the last floor. I mean, it's fine. I, like, I didn't get another familiar anyways, so... Oh, bollocks. Oh, wait. I got a charge there from from losing that heart. Bombs are a key. Double retrovision. God's flesh. We got a lot of keys now, baby. We got a lot of keys. Right, is this going to glitch out again? No, this time I think it's fine. Good, good. Right, so, um, oh, dude, I was just thinking, like, J Junkin, we can bomb items in order to level him up. I should have bombed God's Flesh. God's Flesh is crap. Although it is a tier effect, and we do want to see more tier effects for our rocks here. Uh, there's a, oh, there was another enemy on me. This, this, this ultra long retro vision here is, uh, not my favorite. Not my favorite. Dude, these, these dolphins are, uh, kind of shits. I don't like them. Die, boy. What, what the hell could be left? There's another dolphin. Get out of here. Junkin's just bimbling around the place. Dude, can this retrovision end at some point, please? It's been years. We like retro games here, but this is a bit ridiculous. So, uh, based on based on the um, the way that that last heart worked, the charge heart, I'm going to guess that something happens when I lose this purple heart. But I also don't want to lose it. Because <laughs> that's my goddamn HP. There's another red room, lovely. Oh, it's the ultra as well. Beautiful. That was a poorly timed, unfortunately. Dude, this retrovision is ridiculous. It's been like six times as long as a normal one. What's going on? Red candle, damn it. Okay, there you go. It's finally ended. Red candle is not what we're looking for. Let's make sure we grab a, a rock to bring in with us. Okay. Very, very quick and easy kill there. Staple is rather nice. We like it. Okay, uh, ooh, 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 red candle, I can bomb it, for little old junk, and I forgot about that. There you go, get this guy at least a level on, 
I think, actually, if I remember correctly, let me just go back and check. It might have been fixed, but I'm going to guess it hasn't. Um, if I remember correctly, you can, you can bomb, like, things that you haven't bought. So we can bomb this. Yes, we can. Very, very cheesy, in my opinion. That really shouldn't work, but, eh, hey-ho. If it's there to abuse, I shall abuse it. Right. We've got good speed as well, which is nice. We're zooming around to the next floor. So, yeah, so far, I'm, I'm quite liking this character. It's, uh, th there's a, a unique gimmick that, it, that you're actually, you don't have to use. You're not forced into the gimmick, but you are rewarded for utilizing. Oh, dude, get, get out of here. Get out of here. Trying to use the rocks as much as I can. They are actually, like, very, very strong. I, I'm just hoping we get, like, another interesting tier effects to go along with this. So far, the fact that we got piercing is pretty nice. I'm glad that we got that at least. Okay. We definitely need a fire rate up as well. That would be rather nice. Oh, dude, you see that, like, wombo combo I got there. Ooh, I got Dry Baby out of that, too. Dry Baby I will be taking. Give me your head, fool. Right through here. Dude, so many of these are turning into hearsts. It's a bit egregious. So many pills. I don't want pills this right now. Ow. Oh, I lost the heart and I gained a little baby ghost. So we figured out. So both of those hearts are based on... Um... There you go. We've got one either side here. Both, both of those hearts are, are based on losing the heart. That's when it takes effect. Which we've seen a few of before in modding. I always like new hearts. New hearts are a, a, a fun addition. We did get a red room somewhere in there. Intrude is very nice. Right, there it is. Oh, there you go. Ultra again, baby. Good, good. Having a hard time hitting those guys that we got there in the end. And from here, we're going to get Heart of China. Um, overhealing charge to special heart. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. We can get some good stuff out of that. Okay, this is a bad room for rocks, unfortunately. Only having these skulls means we're probably going to make more enemies than we kill. Oh, we got pretty lucky there. Another red room. I'll take him when I see him. I think we got access to a secret room here as well below us. Oh, we got another red room. Yeah, this is the secret room. Uh, we actually got a cracked key there as well, which I'll take. And yeah, another red room here. Get out of here, you. Junkin's actually doing enough damage to be somewhat useful now, which is nice. Oh, there's one guy here. Hello. Right. Good, good. We are aware. Boss rooms right here. Yeah, we definitely do get extra rocks in the boss rooms. Very much like that. I like that finishing move right there. I will bomb you. Go, my Junkin' boy. See, unfortunately, no extra thing in here for us, but we do get to nuke him with that. With the black hole bombs, we'll be taking that. Thank you very much. This is another effect that will scale quite nicely. When, we, when the rocks pass through an enemy, a, as they travel from that point where they hit the enemy, they'll uh, grow in size. Lump of coal plus the piercing is going to be quite a nice combination, I think. Quite a nice combination indeed. Oh my god, that was such a bad hit. Okay, stay, stay, get, keep these boys away from me. I'm gonna pop this here, because why not? I love the throwing sound with Mum's bracelet. Sounds so, like, vicious. Oh, dude, I'm taking some bad hits right now. Luckily, I have quite a lot of health to work with, so it's not that bad that I'm taking bad damage. Look at that. 
Oh, and, and we uh, minimize them as well. Some hearts there. That's our overhealing started, which is nice. We can pop into the arcade for free here, which saves us a whole penny. Oh my goodness, a whole penny saved. That's wild. Still looking for shop and item room here. There's our uh, shop. Get nuked. What's this? Recharges all your active items. Okay, well, I'm just going to bomb that. I'm just going to feed my boy. Feed me, he says. Feed me. Oh, dude, look at that. That was beautiful. Oh, we got another one of these hearts. These hearts seem a little too common so far. Unique hearts normally aren't super common. Um, so they might need to, the, the chances might need to be adjusted a little bit. I, I still didn't, I actually didn't really work out what the little ghosty boy that it spawned even did for me. I couldn't tell. Maybe it has an EID description when it's on the floor and I just didn't read it, potentially. I am stupid like that sometimes. I am stupid like that. Nope, I was taking our crystal key, not my heart key. Right, these guys do their little death animation and spawn something. We can deal with it. We can deal with it. Boom. And boom. Yeah, we've got to the point now where our rocks are one-shotting a lot of basic enemies, which I quite like. Here's our item room. Lovely. Oh, that was a bit rough there. Junkin's finishing stuff off for us as well. Uh, we've got another bombable here, I'd say. Sunken Fly doesn't do much for me. Junkin is, I think, two or three levels off max. I think it's two levels off of max. I played enough uh, Gungeon to remember the levels, I think. Okay, cool. Charge key doesn't matter for us right now. Okay, piercing next is a lot easier. Okay, my little, my little dude just died there, but I didn't see anything happen from it. Oh, there you go. Get a heart container there. Lovely. Now, unfortunately, this 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 woman does like to destroy rocks, so we're not going to be able to keep all the rocks that are in the room here for combat. Boom! That was a nice hit. Can we get another one to finish it off? Not quite the finishing move I was hoping for, but that will be lovely. Did get another devil deal as well here. Oop! Grab that. Grab the Polaroid for now. Ooh, okay. Spirit of Denial grants immunity to Curse of the Blind, reveals the blind item pedestals on the alt path. Once per room spawn a Denial consumable dice that can be used to re-roll one item pickup or slot machine, but only in that room. Not the best. I think we're going to go for Twisted Pair. Um, and then to make sure we have the invincibility, we'll take that as well. I mean, Twisted Pair, pretty goddamn good, I'd say. Now, will tri Twisted Pair throw extra rocks when we throw rocks? I doubt it, but... <laughs> oh, I should have bombed the other Devil Deal items. I'm s there was only one, but that was a little bit stupid of me. I could have bombed those. Ooh, 50% chance to double or remove item pickups. That's kind of interesting. We immediately junked. It's kind of interesting that it automatically junks the... Um, what's inside the chest. Luckily, we've got a uh, Twisted Pair now to alleviate our fire rate concerns a little bit. Thought our fire rate was a little bit too low, but... Oh, that was a bit too preemptive there, I think. Yes, it was. I was hoping that black hole would just decimate these guys, but... I was a little bit early. Okay, all good. Bunch of red rooms here. Broken records, kind of interesting. Dude, the red rooms are going crazy right now. Dude, I can group them up with Black Hole and throw a rock at all of them that pierces through them. That's that's kind of an amazing combo right there. That I ought to be using more often. Also, the amount of trinkets right now is wild. Got my little Junkin' boy. Ah, that was a bit of a bad hit there. It's okay though, our health isn't too bad yet. It's getting there, it's getting bad, but it's not it's not awful quite yet. Don't know what happened there, I threw a rock and it disappeared. 
Boom. The range you can throw the rocks at is pretty nice as well. You'd have to get that close. And there's a soul heart. What? What did I get hit by? I got hit right as I took that soul heart. I have no idea what hit me there. That was a little bit annoying. Ah! I hate the um I hate the way that like tiny enemies still spawn shots on death and can still like shoot and stuff. Like when when you make an enemy tiny with um with God's flesh. Oh dude, that's a really bad hit. Uh when you make an enemy tiny with God's flesh, it should not be able to shoot. Dude, what's going on right now? I think I'm being screwed over by tiny enemies. Got a token there. I'll leave that in case we get some more HP, because God knows we need it. I have managed to lose a lot of HP this floor. A lot and a lot of HP. We shall prevail. We shall prevail. Do not worry, but it's not going to be quite as easy as I once assumed. God damn it. A lot of these enemies are proving to be not so easy. I know I lose Empty Vessel here, but I've already got a flight, so I, I, I only lose the invincibility, really. It's not a massive deal. It's not a massive deal. I've got to be careful, because these some of these rocks obviously shoot out um, bloody tears. That could get me screwed over as well. There's normally specific types of rocks, but I can never really identify which ones it's going to be. Dude, that guy moved at the speed of light. Bugger off. God damn it. Don't think I'm going to get to use that token for anything useful. I could use it on my little um, purple Immoral Hearts when they drop on the floor and I re-pick them back up. But I don't think that's the best use. The Immoral Hearts aren't that good. Another red room here. Hey, there you go, baby. Okay. I see you, I see you. Oh, you're a friend, apparently. Degas, lovely. Um, corpse flower, I'll take. Right, let's quickly go back, and I think it's in the, the, the large L-shaped room over there. We're going to double this Degas rune for some extra HP. And that makes the most sense, it's a soul heart. So we just go Degas, Degas. There you go. Decent, decent. Gives us a little bit more safety. Replenish some of that stupid damage that I've taken. I'm pretty sure this is the boss way, so I'll head back this way now. I'll take a rock for safekeeping as well. I do like the fact that you can transfer the rock between rooms. Ooh, we got a polyp in here. One of the giant rocks. Let's bomb the shit out of it. This actually spawned quite a lot of health as well, which is good for filling up our uh, heart container meter. And we got Akeldama. It's decent. I don't use Akeldama that much, really, but I'll take it. Oh, dude. My character's doing a lot of throwing noises now because of Akeldama spawning rocks. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay. There you go. Dude, we're killing bosses at such insane speeds, which is very, very nice. Um, I think I'm going to bomb you. Are you up to max rank now? You are, you are. Okay. I'll just take this now then. And we'll be on our way. We don't need to bomb anything more. But we do have Junkin at max rank now. He'll start firing and stuff. He's he's become he's become just about as powerful as we are, which is very, very nice to see. There you go. Look. Yeah, Akeldama's doing some weird stuff with the... Uh... <laughs> With the, the throwing sound effects. You can see he's got this piercing stuff going on right now. It's very nice. Big boy enemy. Not a fan. We're on a reasonably quick run here. It's not it's not super fast, but we're going at a decent pace. Oop. I've got a flight. Don't have to worry about that. Oh, this is a good room for one of these bad boys. Even junk. And do you know what? Um, remove. Ah. Akel Dama. I just, I'd, I'd rather not have that annoying sound playing constantly. I'd rather just have less power and not have that playing. It's, it's slightly annoying. 
The sound itself is fine for when you're firing regular tears. But if you have if you have like soy milk or like anything that's gonna be like Akodama there where it's a lot of fire rate, it could probably get annoying pretty quick. Excuse me, bomb. Stay where I placed you, thank you. Not the best assortment there, although we can get this chest for free. It's interesting that ghosts are permanently charmed. I mean, I, I definitely like it and it makes sense thematically. I think I got hit by a polyp rock there. Gosh damn it. Oh, you went underground right as the black hole was going to hit you. You dingus. Yeah, I think we've got a pretty good combo of this black hole bomb, Mr. Boom synergy, plus the, the rock throw piercing with the lump of coal in the mix. It's, it's all good, man. I'm liking it. I think we've managed to build a pretty interesting run. Probably pick up hearts to fill up our meter whenever we get them, because we're not using them otherwise. Oh, dude, what the hell? That room confused me. Okay. Where's our boss at? Must be pretty close. Yeah, there you go. And boss time. We'll take rocks in because I don't know if rocks will spawn in here. Oh, they do good. I'm going to start using bombs, though. Dude, my Mr. Boom got pushed. Fuck you. This game annoys me. Okay, luckily we skipped the last phase. Did take some pretty stupid damage there, though. Dude. Mmm, I got hit again. I mean, I, I, I really should take Cambion Conception at this stage, but it's just too late. <laughs> that was some really, really dumb damage there. Really, really dumb damage, but... We're, we're clogging along nicely. We're clogging along nicely. Unfortunately, this floor is going to be a little bit barren of rocks. So we are going to be relying more so on um, regular shooting. Oh, dude. Okay, we got a heart at least through that. At least we've got that giving us the ability to, um, to get some hearts here and there. Right, you're dead. Good, good. Some pots in the corners, gonna have to grab those. Luckily, like I said, we were at the point now we don't we aren't relying on our rock throws to do damage. So we can make it through rooms that don't have rocks. But it is still preferable. We do we do definitely do more damage when we rock throw. Hey, a little red room. Ooh, thank you for the bombs. Cricket's leg? Nah, I'm gonna stick with the crystal key. Crystal key's just way more fun. Anything that opens red rooms, anything that opens extra rooms in, in any Isaac game, any mod, yeah, I love it. It's, it's always my jam. Little Junkin boy spreading his fury. We like it. I'll take you out first. Okay, I, I, I said take you out first like you weren't the only enemy I could fight. <laughs> Okay. Little bit worried for the uh, the boss fights here. I don't know how the boss fights are going to go. Yeah, I do have to make sure to be transferring rocks between rooms when I can. Just because the next room's not always guaranteed to have one. Got plenty of these. Ooh, smooth stone is a very, very, very good for us right now. 1.5 extra damage to any boss over a certain amount of HP, which is basically all of them at this stage. Just a 1.5 damage multiplier to bosses is very nice. Again, Polty's been friendly is kind of nice here, although they do continue to throw things at me. Some, some, some of that is good, some of that is not. Minimize that boy. Oh god, the electricity! I didn't see that coming. Oh, spider, fuck her off! You're not part of this. There's a red heart in here. We should grab. Ah, health is really not good. Take some extra measures to get some extra HP. Doesn't look like we're going to be getting much though, does it? Right, I'll grab one of these rocks as well for the next room. I've got like a hair on me somewhere. Um, it's really bothering me. And it's not, not just the hairs on my head. Oh, there it is, there it is. What the hell is like a... F the fan. I've got the fan on because it's really warm in the UK at the minute. And it was just blowing a hair onto my fucking shoulder. It was bothering me. 
Um, glitter infection. Shoot pink, pink tier that uh, tier kills enemies and enemies explode and release eight tiers and drop a card. Oh, goddamn. This sounds awesome. We also got some health there. Basically, kill an enemy, they do a bunch of random stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. Excuse me, did that guy, did that enemy get bigger the moment I tried to touch him? Look at all that stuff. Look at all that stuff. Mini Isaacs, nice. And then we'll uh, pop this in here. D dude, dude, Junkin, stop pushing my fucking bombs, you idiot. I know that you, you feel almighty and powerful, but this is not the Junkin show. Don't push my bombs. Evil little shitbag. My goodness, how dare you. Right. Let us have a see what our four chests hold for us. We have returned home. Um, grants the effect of Pluto for the current room on taking damage. That's kind of an interesting idea. I like the sprite for it. The sprite for it is really good. The rest of these are kind of meh. Yeah, he, he's going to be pushing my bombs away and annoying the hell out of me the entire time, isn't he? Oh, that, that's that's beautiful. He, Junkin, is, he's kind of taken over, to be honest. The heads are rolling at high velocity. He did it again. Stop. You shouldn't even be able to interact with my bombs. Never mind pushing them away. Keep our distance from that. Sadly, not many rocks to throw in these rooms. But it's okay. As I said, we are powerful enough to do things on our own. We can take this with us. What is this? Delirious Rune. Activates a random rune or soul stone effect while in a room. Can randomly switch between Delirious Pickup when used. 33% chance. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Interesting. Oh my god. We are very powerful. I like rock loving some of these uh, little sort of teddy bears and stuff at him. Where am I? My body's so small I can barely tell where I am. To get a strength card, which is good for the boss. Okay. Unfortunately, we're not in the best position here. Especially considering my bombs are basically useless because he's going to push them. Oh, God, God damn it. Ah, oh, that was way too early. Oh, no, it wasn't. Luckily, they do have a bit of a uh, dragging effect on them. There you go. Okay. I don't know if I'm able to win here. I just the visual clutter is, is heavy. We should be okay here. There you go. Lovely little victory. I hope you guys enjoyed this little showcase of this character. Me, an interesting character. Uh yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.